The prince cleansed himself in the waters of the fountain. Though returned to a normal body, the same could not be said for his mind. See now! The change was physical, nothing more! Why should I believe you? Everything you have done contradicts this. I have seen the way you hunger for combat. You take pleasure in creating death. Your constant talk of bloody vengeance. Your cold disregard for your own people. You heard the women in the brothel as clearly as I did, yet you turned away. But I came back. I came back! For you. You are a prince in title only. Go and reclaim your throne. But know this. You do so alone. You certainly have a way with women. Those you don't get killed can't get far enough away from you.
my youth, I would often lose myself in the back alleys of the upper city. I spent hours running and tumbling, imagining myself all manner of creatures. The rooftops and passageways were secret windows onto other worlds. But now everything has changed. The color bled away, and the sounds of life replaced by a heavy stillness. It has all gone dark and bitter. seen cats with greater skill. is close. Let us at last be on our way. The prince was finally forced to accept the fact that Pharaoh was lost to him, and that he alone was responsible for this. Had he not hidden the truth from her, had he shown more compassion, then perhaps things may have gone another way. But now it was him. Shall I continue? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. In spite of this, or perhaps because of it, the prince found himself profoundly affected by Pharaoh's earlier... to the prince I once knew. 
You've been so quiet. What's on your mind? Perhaps she is right. Where is the prince I used to know? You are hardened warriors. Stop being so, so sentimental. It's not like you. Were it something I could push away or ignore, I would. It's a good thing you have plenty of time. Tell me then, what do you believe it is to be a warrior? It is to hunger for combat, to seek solution with the sword. Do you disagree? Had you asked me when we first met, I would have said the same. Now, I am not so sure. Think on it then.
I think a true warrior fights for something other than himself. And what of the man that battles to better his own station, to improve his lot in life? Often it is the only way to achieve greatness. But what you describe is not a man. It is a monster. I see. We will have to continue this discussion later. Any chance of defeating this beast, engage it from behind! Continue my good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Mm -hmm.